Hi there YouTube and welcome to Tech Travers. I have been playing constantly with my Steam Deck since I got it and even though there's definitely things I love about this device, there are also definitely things that need to be fixed, especially on the PC gaming side. However, Valve is doing their job and shoot out updates on regular basis. But there is one place where the Steam Deck outshines 100% of the competition and that is handheld emulation. The Steam Deck will emulate anything up to PlayStation 3 without any real issues and that is with most of the emulators not not even being optimized for the Steam Deck. I have installed and set up my emulators using Emudeck and it can be a bit tricky but I will show you in a future video so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now let's check out some gameplay. Here I am playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. This is actually the worst emulation experience I've had so far, and that is purely because of badly optimized emulator on the Steam Deck and not because of the hardware itself. For instance, I can't choose to play in full screen mode and then swap between the two screens using a button press as I do on my AYN Odin Pro, and there are a few other flaws as well. However, the gameplay itself is very smooth and rarely drops below 60 FPS. I have every reason to believe that as soon as the Citra developers get a proper Steam Deck optimized version out, this will be a fantastic way to enjoy your 3DS games. Next up is one of my childhood favorites, Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube. Back in the days I couldn't afford any other games for my GameCube, so instead I explored every second inch of this mansion. As you can see the Steam Deck has zero to none problems with this system and it's an absolute joy to be able to play my old GameCube library with this perfect emulation. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is arguably one of the best games ever from the PlayStation 2 era and it's with a great joy I can announce that the Steam Deck once again have no problems at all with it. Keep in mind that I haven't done a single tweak to any emulation settings, I haven't remapped any controls or anything, it just works. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Next up is Twilight Princess HD for the Wii U. The Wii U had some truly amazing games and it was such a cool console that never got the love it deserved. I guess partially that is because it wasn't really a handheld device even though Nintendo wanted us to think of it as such. Luckily we are now able to enjoy our Wii U games the way Nintendo probably wanted us to enjoy them before they released the Switch.
The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, also on the Wii U, is working absolutely flawless, as you can see, and uh, oh my, is this a beautiful game. The colors are so vibrant, they almost pops out of the screen. And once again, I haven't done anything to the emulator settings, and the Wii U had basically the same controller layout as the Steam Deck, so everything is mapped correct from the start. This is truly a game I will enjoy on my Steam Deck. Last up is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. This is my Wii U dump of the game running on the Simu emulator just like Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. I think I forgot to mention that before. Breath of the Wild does not work great out of the box, but with a few simple tweaks to the emulator like the 60 FPS patch, you can actually get this game running better on the Steam Deck than on the Nintendo Switch, which is quite remarkable. That's been it for this brief emulation showcase on the Steam Deck. I've set up my emulators with the Emu Deck in Steam Deck's desktop mode. As I mentioned in the beginning, I will start working on a how-to video later on, so make sure to subscribe if you don't have it already, so you don't miss that. As always, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you can drop a like or a comment to show it. Your feedback is super appreciated and it really helps me to improve. Thanks a lot for watching this and catch you in the next one.